On the road to recovery, almost one in four Californians is now at least partially vaccinated uh, against the coronavirus. In tonight's KPIX 5 original report, a lingering question about the vaccine. How long will it protect you from the virus? And what can you do to boost that? Betty Yu with the push to find out. Experts say vaccine immunity probably won't last forever. How well you respond will vary person to person. Bay Area scientists hope to identify ways to boost and keep your immune system juiced. More than a year into a terrible pandemic, the experience has left many isolated, depressed, anxious. It kind of threw a, a wrench in everyone's plans. Stressful and not being able to go out every day. It's a kind of uh, in prison. Now with vaccinations picking up steam. You know, I feel like there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is also a lot of unanswered questions. A big one. Do you know how long immunity will last? Um, I do not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, no. Neither do the scientists. Some believe the vaccine is good for at least six months, probably longer. But it's too soon to tell. Not only that, the virus is changing. We are in a race against these variants. And not everybody responds equally well to the exact same vaccine. We've learned a lot about how vaccines work, but they don't work the same for everyone. Just how well these vaccines work and for how long may depend on your immune system and whether it's been compromised or weakened. It's possible that those who are getting insufficient sleep or are excessively exposed to stress without the resilience factors are going to have a real decline in their antibody response. UCSF's Dr. Eric Prather and Dr. Alyssa Appel are gathering data on the vaccine's durability. Their goal? To identify what may tap down an otherwise robust antibody response to the COVID vaccine. We're all so concerned right now with getting the vaccine and surviving this acute epidemic. But if we can't maintain these antibodies will be looking at scenarios of flare-ups and needing more booster shots. The team is collecting blood from volunteers before and after their first COVID shot. In the blood, scientists are not just measuring antibodies. They're also looking at immune cells and looking for something called a telomere. They like the little um, protective tip at the end of a shoelace. Here, here. UCSF's Dr. Elizabeth Blackburn won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of telomeres. Seen here in green, they protect our chromosomes from damage and length matters. Telomere length has been related to, um, you know, how well the immune system is, is holding up. The longer, the better. The longer they are, the more our immune cells are able to replicate themselves and robustly fight antigens. As to what shortens telomeres? older age, lack of sleep, even chronic stress. And we think that we'll find that things like stress, things like uh, positive emotions, things like sleep will all be related to how well people respond to this vaccine. It was really very simple. Nancy volunteered for the study to help scientists better understand novel viruses and to identify ways to bolster our immune response. You know, the more we learn about how our bodies can produce antibodies after getting a vaccine and how well those antibodies are going to perform over time, I think is really important to find out. As for the telomeres, you can lengthen them, sleep more, eat a healthy diet, exercise, meditate. We know a lot about how to improve people's level of stress. In the meantime, when you're eligible, get vaccinated. Everyone should get it. <laughs> <laughs> Studies show that negative feelings can result in a weaker immune response to other vaccines. So before you get a jab against COVID, get a good night's sleep and walk in feeling positive. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5. The study is called Boost, and volunteers are still welcome, especially people 65 and over uh, who have not gotten vaccinated yet. 